Welcome back, MAGFAST. How's it going? Are you, are you guys still okay after that massive, awesome X2 run that we just did? Coming up next, we got Baron Von Bryan. He's about to attempt Mega Man X Buster only. And because of your all's donations, we hit the mark on his. So he is going to have to run Play Mammoth Stage first on the stream. Which, by the way, guys, donations, we are still taking them. Even though we hit our goals, we're not going to stop taking them. All that money is going to Child's Play Charity. Exclamation donate in the chat. Gives you all that information, including where you can donate. Uh, we still got polls, incentives that you can uh, go to. Personally, guys, hey... Who is a pineapple fan on pizza in here? Definitely somebody needs to donate. Give some love to the pineapple. Pineapple on pizza is awesome. With that being said, enough of that. Let's head on over. Baron Von Bryan is ready to go. Charging up that buster. And let's get started. Get hyped, guys. All right. Thank you kindly. Uh, that was a very warm introduction. Uh, I am uh, Baron Von Bryan, or Baron, Brian, I don't care, whatever you want to call me. Um, I'll be doing a Buster Only run. Buster Only runs are, I've, I saw a lot of people in chat before this run saying that uh, they've never seen a Buster Only run of X done before. Um, it is a very niche category. Not a lot of people like to do it. Um, not that it isn't fun. It's just a very, t you'll see towards the end of this run, it's a very tedious, tedious run. Um, I do see that the incentive got met. That is just wonderful because we get to. I have that actually as a channel point incentive on my stream, so it doesn't get used very often. But um, I like the idea since it all runs for Mega Man X start in um, Chill Penguin stage, and so as a result of that, that affects Flame Mammoth stage. You'll notice from earlier when Poison ran that um, Flame Mammoth stage is covered in ice. That will not be the case on this run. Um, casually, Flame Mammoth Stage is actually quite difficult without going to uh, Chill Penguin first. But uh, I'm ready to go whenever we want to do a countdown. I guess I'll count down if that's alright. Or what do you want to do? Yeah, you count down. I count down. Fantastic. Okay. Um, all right, so I'll start in, I guess, three, two, one, go. All right, now I was going to say that this run would predominantly be pretty similar to the 100% or any percent runs for the intro stage and Penguin, but we're not going to Penguin after the intro stage, thanks to your amazing donations. Um... Everybody kind of has their own way of doing the intro stage. It involves a lot of mashing. It's very cruel to new runners of the game. And I'm sure you can hear my controller. You're probably going to hear that a lot throughout this run, so I apologize for that. Um, the basic thing that people tell to new runners of uh, this, this game on this stage is, as long as you don't die, you're pretty good. Um, you should be fine. Like, just don't die, you'll be all right. As long as you don't die, you are fine. Which also used to be my um, my mantra for Storm Eagle stage. Because I found that on most of my runs, hey, I can save a lot of time if I just don't die. And that's generally the case for most of the... <clears throat> excuse me, for most of the stages. You notice some of those crumblies uh, didn't fall. I call them crumblies. The parts of the highway that when you step on them, they fall down. Um... Didn't fall. That's because there is a... Sorry, I had to count a little bit. A frame-perfect jump. It doesn't save any time. It's just kind of a swag. Oh, I, I missed him on one. Oh well. Still riding on cars. That task car strategy is one that I do not do very often. So that was probably kind of a dumb idea for a marathon... Oh, that's great. So we're actually going to be fighting Vio a little bit. <laughs> Normally uh, you want to be at 3 health or below. I picked up that big health on accident there. So we're going to fight him a little bit. 
We're not doing very well, it seems. If only somebody would come save us. Oh my goodness, where's our hero? Alright. I'm using the Japanese version for the sole purpose that it saves, on average, about 12 seconds. Um, there's no other difference other than that between the US version and the Japanese version. The Japanese version just saves time on all these dialogue boxes. Where Zero tells us that we're not good enough and he flexes on us and tells us that we need to get, get good. So we'll try and do that. Alright, I have to remember my muscle memory not to go to Penguin and go straight to, as I call him, Pyropachyderm. So let's do it. This is what y'all donated for. Put me through hell. No dash boots. One of the bulkiest uh, bosses, Buster Only. Because with Buster Only, we don't have the advantage of using the boss weaknesses. So I can't use Tornado on him. And he only takes more than one damage from an orange shot, which is this, or a dash lemon, which I'll explain later. But I can't do a dash lemon because I can't dash. I'm stuck without shoes. And this is one large change here between the frozen stage and this, which I forgot earlier in practice. Because once I saw that donation incentive was met, I figured I should practice this. There we go. Get rid of these little moles. Now as you saw in the hundo percent, and as you can see underneath in the lava below, there is a heart tank. There's also an E tank, or an emergency tank, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I cannot get either because of the the fire. An interesting thing which I will demonstrate here, you cannot get smashed by these if you're jumping. I'll do that one more time. You just can't. Can't hurt me. So for casual players or people that are interested in starting running and you decide for whatever reason not to go to penguin first, that's a good strategy. This is going to be a difficult mammoth fight with the amount of health that I have right now and no dash boots. Ah, almost made it over that. These trolly little spikes. Oh, this is going to be a very difficult fight. Super jump through the door. <laughs> is this some kind of game mod? Fire doesn't exist in this stage. Who'd have thought? Just because it might happen here, I'm just gonna let you all know, for every death, I will be donating a dollar. So if you would like to match that, please feel free, and please feel free to do more. I'm just a broke individual. The reason I'm not using the charged shot on this is because it's actually faster to just shoot them with lemons because it does about the same damage. And there we go. I surprisingly did not die. If this had revisits, oh my goodness, that would be terrible. That would be very terrible. All right. Incentive complete. Thank you all very much for doing that. Not very often people get to see that stage that way. So now we can actually go back and get our Go Fast boots from Permafrost Puffin. Here we go. I like coming up with new names for them. It's always fun. Alright. Pretty smooth intro there. Not really much to say here. It's 
pretty much the same as the 100% run or an any percent run. Just try to get through here as quickly as possible using these slope jumps to your advantage. Because Mega Man maintains his speed when jumping. Ah, I missed it. It's fine. Out of the slope. So you can get additional height, additional distance. I'll do one here that I missed. So, oh well. What are you going to do? So here Ghost Dad will give us our boots that'll make us go faster and then disappear on us. It's a sad life to be Mega Man. All he wants is Dr. Light's love. He never gets it. He just gets bought off with new shoes. There we go. But as Torta from the previous run mentioned, which, by the way, amazing X2 run, always fun. I am not a good X2 runner. I'm not even a good X runner, but that was a really amazing run. Uh, as he mentioned earlier, um, I am pretty new to the speedrun community in general, um, but I have been playing Mega Man X for, God, two decades at least. Um, actually got it um, from my brother growing up. He had a Super Nintendo. Uh, six years older than me, and uh, this is, he's uh, mentally challenged, I'll put it that way, and he would always knock on my bedroom door, ask me for help with whatever game he was playing, and this was one of my favorites to help him with, to the point where I would just take the controller from him and play it without, without the pretense of helping him. <laughs> so this was one of my favorites growing up. Uh, never really played the classic Mega Man games, never really played anything past it, um, I have since, since the X community is uh, very encouraging to try new things, which is part of the reason that I do Buster Only. Kind of got a little burnt out from uh, doing constant, constant 100% X runs, and I um, figured I'd do something a little bit different and fun, just for a break in the pace, and here we go, Buster Only. Permafrost Puffin is down. We actually got a uh, donation. Fantastic. Yeah, go for it. Let's uh, hear what they have to say. Mabby Bomber in the chat uh, just donated $10. He says, Baron Von Brian is Zero's number one fan. <laughs> He's just too shy to admit it. That's true. Uh, also, just in the chat, Half Empty Energy Tank says they will match your, uh, your deaths in this game by uh, three dollars now so every death you die oh well in that case <laughs> die, they will donate three dollars towards it so half empty e-tank thank you guys so much mavi bomber we appreciate you thank you guys thank you mavi mavi is true that is true what he said i am secretly zero's number one fan they also call me baron von bashful i'm too shy to admit it even though i just did right, right there so there's another four dollars for charity. One from me, and three from Half Empty E Tank. Oh my goodness! Oh, my controller must have just disconnected or something. There we go. Get over there. All right, and 100 percent, you would go on the other side of this wall here and grab the helmet. We don't need it. It is quite possibly the most useless upgrade in all of Mega Man. Um, with the exception, as they mentioned earlier, of that one upgrade that gives you extra lives when you die. Um, good for casual players, not so much for speedrunners. The helmet... <laughs> fashion Mega Man X, that's right. The helmet um, doesn't really give you any additional armor bonuses. It just helps you break blocks, and if you decide to go through Chameleon stage without taking on Green Biker Dad, as they call him, um, the falling rocks in the tunnel will not hurt you. They'll just break off your head. And there we go. Hurricane Hawk actually did a pretty good job with us by not diving. I kind of want to retroactively give that RNG to Poison. That would have been an, an even more amazing run. Alright. 
Also, thank you again for the donations, not only just for the incentive, but for um, this run currently. This is a fantastic uh, charity to donate to. And um, doesn't get as much attention as the more popular charities. So it's really good that um, MagFast is doing this and uh, bringing some joy to people who have had joy taken away from them, which I know a little bit all too well. So it hits a little close to home for me. Oh. Funny story about my pause right there is that the controller that I use is a wireless controller. And like most wireless controllers, there are button combinations that will turn on, turn off, pair with Bluetooth. And the start button, which is sort of critical to skipping things quickly in this game, oops, um, powers on and off the controller. So if I hold it for three seconds, it will turn off the controller. So I have to remap my start button to a button that is not used so much, my X button which happens to be right next to all, all the buttons that I press constantly. Um, people say, why don't you use the select button? That's a fantastic idea. With the one caveat that the select button, if held for more than three seconds, enters Bluetooth pairing mode and disconnects from my Bluetooth. It's really dumb. So you might see me randomly pausing, and if I do, that's likely why. I just slipped and hit the button. Uh, this boss, colloquially referred to as Fred Durst, because he likes to just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. It's probably the second most tedious fight in this game, Buster only, because you cannot take his armor off. He likes to deflect all your shots. You might notice on these shots that I'm shooting after he absorbs my shot that uh, I'm dashing beforehand. That's because if you dash and shoot a lemon, as they call it, it will do two points of damage instead of one to most enemies. So it's just a little bit extra damage, makes this tedious fight go a little bit faster. And there we go. Fred Durst is down. But don't worry, we'll see. There is the something called a Dillo skip that's in 100% and any percent. Um, where you skip the fight and the Sigma stages against Fred Durst. But uh, unfortunately for us, since we can't use any of these uh, special weapons that we're getting, we're going to have a Limp Bizkit reunion tour. Alright, now we're going into uh, Static Simeon. It's a little bit more of a technical stage. Um, you can either mash or you can, you know, do that with dash lemons. Just get extra ones in there. Apologize for my loud controller again. Hopefully it's not too disturbing to you. Ah, come on. That last little uh, dasher thing that goes through the night sky always likes to hit me, so I'm pretty surprised that I got away with that. Right, this guy has basically no iframes, which makes it good to mash him. But this is another RNG heavy fight, and those little uh, globules that he shoots out, which I will stand in, stick you to the floor. Which, when he decides that he wants to jump down and bounce around, like I actually got pretty good RNG for that fight, um, are quite annoying. I'll grab that health, why not? Oh, oh goodness. That's fine. We don't need... We don't need that. And I'll grab this heart here, just to be safe. If I could get up there, that'd be fantastic. Thank you, Mega Man. Team effort, buddy. Team effort. Right. Boom. 
casually, this was always a really difficult hallway for me. But thanks to all the help and advice from people speedrunning, I can... I don't even think about it much anymore. And we're now into Static Simeon's area here. Believe it or not, the single charge does considerable damage to him. If it would land. And boom. There we go. Yeah, monkey bars for real. <laughs> what works? Teamwork. You got it, man. You got that. Sometimes I get upset with my teammate. People in my stream have seen me get very mad at X. I'll actually talk to him while I do my runs. So, I won't embarrass you all by doing that now. Alright. This stage, um... There might be some more donations here on this stage, since I tend to die a lot. It's a very tedious stage. Got... Oh, sorry. No, go for it. We... Go for it. Interrupt me anytime. got a donation. Uh, you might have remember oh. her earlier, Michelle. Michelle. Who ran Mega Man 1 and Mega Man 8 earlier with uh, Juggle Boy. She donated $15. Oof. And she would like to say... Rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness! I'll Thank never you so get much, over Michelle. That. Thank you very much for that donation. Uh, this is another uh, mini boss here with basically no iframes, but RNG is quite annoying, particularly on the second one, which is coming up right after the fish. Thank you very much. All right, no death there. God, if I'm not going to die this run, I might have to like throw some in. Oh, take a bonk there. All right, and unlike the swaggy little strat where you drop a tornado right here to kill this. Uh, What's his name? Ouroboros? Eh, sea snake. That works. We gotta mash him. Uh, you don't want to see that. You want him to keep going up. Come on, there we go. Worth it. Hopefully he'll drop some health. Uh, not much. That's helpful still. There we go. Calamari. Yep, Missile Mollusk. Calamity Calamari. That'd be a good name. That'd be a good name. I'll have to write that one down. He's a punk. Oh, goodness. For most people that are starting off with uh, Buster only, especially for um, Octopus, it's best just to just get good at mashing. Because his missiles will never hit you if you just keep mashing. But the stupid homing fish that he keeps throwing at me, they're a completely different story. I might make, I might make it through this. There we go. All right. Um, some one of the few other Buster-only runners that runs this game, Dragon Metal Queen, um, came into my stream one day while I was practicing Buster-only, and she said, "Wow, you went to uh, launch Octopus before you got the armor upgrade. That's 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 a ballsy move. Um, it kind of is, because he threw a lot of fish, but he can be quite difficult. Launch Octopus." And you take a lot of damage without this armor upgrade. Um, I'm doing kind of a safe strategies here on this run. Just because I don't want to, you know, just destroy the run. 
So on a normal buster only run, if you're going for a good time, you would just completely avoid this fight altogether. You just keep going. Um, I'm going to pick it up. Throwing dash lemons at this guy all day. If I could get my dash in, that'd be great. And amazingly, with the uh, route change, we're only about a minute off of my PB right now, which is pretty good. Oh goodness, come on buddy. It's time for you to go. Been up here dropping rocks on unsuspecting travelers. Can't have that anymore. There we go. There we go. Alright, got the toe, as they call it. Give a little fist bump to the doctor and get our armor upgrade. Yeah, we, you guys met the goal like just a little after seven hours of this stream. That doesn't mean we gotta stop though, not at all. The donation goal is more like guidelines than an actual goal, as they say. All right. Oh, that's always good. Right. And also in like a good four time run, you wouldn't have grabbed that hard either. But uh, I'm just trying to be a little bit safer than usual. You also wouldn't grab this mech. But why the heck not? Let's have some fun. The Mega Man. So basically just damage boosting through all these things. This is not a very viable strat, but if you're new to buster only, or new to running in general, uh, it will keep you from taking too much damage. So you notice we didn't take any damage ourselves, it all just went to the mech. This is probably the most hated fight, RNG-wise and mechanic-wise, in buster only. Well, second most hated. Final boss is the most hated, hands down. And that's why. It'll just... Oh, just leave. He doesn't like hanging out with us. Blunderbuss Platypus. I, I like that. I'm liking a lot of these names. I tend to call him a Licky Lizard, because I like going with alliteration. Did you notice we had Static Simeon, Muscle mo uh, Missile Mollusk, yeah. Permafrost, Puffin. Pyropachyderm. Oh my goodness. This is not great. There, yeah, take a full charge. Alright. My goodness. He does not want to play today. Oof. Mm mm mm. So who's next? Well, there's one after this. Who's the one I haven't gotten? <laughs> I should have you guys write my splits, man. These are really good names. Return Orang Roach. You think you're better than me, Chameleon? You don't want to play? You don't want to fight me? You think you're better? Get out of here. Hmm. Got him! That's right. But not for the last time. Show wing. There you go. Alright, and on to the last of the eight Mavericks. Boomerang Beetle. Return Orang Roach. All the other good ones. This is just a difficult stage in general. <laughs> Buster only is, uh... Adds another little handicap to the run. Oh, come on. There we go. See, as I said during the 100% run earlier today, it is the only vertical stage, really, in all of Mega Man X. X1, that is. Just gonna jump over these turtles. We don't have time for them. Let's run a speed run. We have an estimate to come under. And thanks to your donations and going to Mammoth first, 
gonna be a little bit tighter than usual, but we'll get there. We'll get there under estimate, I bet. There we go. Oh no. Alright, still made it. It's good. It's all good. Oh, that's not. Boo! Bad climb. I thought you were good at this game. Nope. I just pretend to be. I'm just gonna play it safe. This part of the stage is often referred to as the climb. Ah, I got it too. But I fell off. I'm just gonna play it safe. It's much easier with ice, that whole part. It's much easier. Yeah, Ladder Yatter. That is canonically the name of that thing. And I wasn't charging, so this will be interesting. Let's see if he still wants to dance with me. He does. Oh, not for long, though. I actually do need to focus a little bit since this fight is often trolling of me. I'm gonna switch sides every time. Just make me hit the button. Yep, he's gonna switch every time. What a punk. We'll get him back though. Pretty soon too. So that's all eight Mavericks Buster only. Not too difficult. Like I said, pretty tedious, but not bad. All right. Now we get to see a little passcode there. If you were quick, you could have written it down. You wouldn't have to play any of the Mavericks. And here's our hero again. Oh my god, he's so amazing, Zero. Everybody loves Zero. Nothing bad is ever going to happen to Zero. Oh, there he is again. Wonderful. So good to see you. He's basically telling us that he's going to lead the way into Sigma's fortress. He's going to clear the way for us because we're not capable of doing it ourselves, apparently. Even though we've been the ones picking up his mess. Because canonically, I'm not sure if people know this. I know this. Because I have to deal with uh, people like Mavi Bomber. But uh, Zero, canonically is the reason for Mega Man X1. He's the reason that we're doing this. He let uh, Sigma get away, capture the Death Rogumer, which is the uh, airborne ship headquarters, I might as well bonk there just to be safe, um, of the Maverick Hunters, which Sigma overtakes and releases all the Mavericks that we have to fight now and we're the ones corralling them while Zero deals with tracking down Sigma. So I often poke a lot of fun at uh, the other people in the community who are very big Zero fans. Because um, in later iterations, like X3 a little bit and X4 onward, uh, you can play as Zero. And people just love Zero, think he's cool, which he is, arguably. Um, but I like to make fun of them a little bit by saying like, well, you know, if he wasn't such a scrub, then X series wouldn't have even happened because Mega Man has to come in and actually be the hero and clean up all of his mistakes. And there's a reason that he's called Zero. Because he's a Zero. Alright. This fight can be uh, a little arduous. So I'm going to try and focus just a little bit. If you get hit by those little uh, little balls, just like that, they do that. <laughs> they stop you. How many characters die in the X series? At least zero. <laughs> that is correct. But as we said, nothing bad's going to happen to zero. Oh goodness. Oh, what's this? What's happened to you? Uh, give us your arm. Thank you. 
<laughs> uh, sorry for the delay there, just had a little drink. Oh, I missed the jump. Fantastic I am. You may have noticed on that shot there, uh, with that fully charged pink shot, a little shield comes out from behind you. That actually does damage as well. It's actually considered a separate damage marker than the actual shots themselves. Oh, he doesn't want to dance with me. He's mad that I killed him last time. Good RNG. Except for that. Oh, goodness. There we go. And Boomer's done. We will never see him again. <laughs> he promised he'd never dance again. Maybe he's from that footloose town where dancing is outlawed. And he hates it like we got him to dance. go. This health is always good. little tip with the these guys, if you just turn away and then turn back real quick, they'll pop up, letting you shoot them. I've seen a lot of uh, buster-only runs where they just sit there and spam the shots until he pops up. But just, just turn around, turn back, they'll pop back. This is a very tedious fight, buster-only. If you're uh, interested in running Mega Man X of any type, um, Reading Bow Spider, his patterns, that is a very good thing to do. Because these little green barbs that come out from either side of these poles, if he encounters one, has to take that path. So you start learning to read them when they come out. And knowing where he'll be at the end, so you can position yourself better. Doesn't always work though. Sometimes the spiders that he throws down will distract you and You'll get an odd pattern, that's kind of rare. But so far we're doing alright. I misread that, but I still got the shot. Bow Spider's a big hurdle in many new runners. Very big hurdle. There we go, and he's down. Or she, I don't know. <laughs> Whenever people say jerk, or call people a jerk, it always reminds me of that Spongebob episode. Where Patrick's like, I'll have a few choice words for you. Like you. And are. And a jerk. That was actually the best that I've done. Uh, Sigma Stage 1 Buster Only. That's a, that's a gold split on my side. So, gold split hype. Oh, look. Look who it is. I do also have other names for these uh, Mavericks that are not really uh, appropriate <laughs> for this, this charity stream for children. So I will belay that. But if you're ever interested, feel free to swing by my stream and I'll be happy to tell them to you. Oops. There we go. Right in your face. I'm not afraid of you anymore, Penguin. You have no control over me. I'm a Mega Man now. Alright, and, and away we go. Again, taking this mech is not really the ideal strategy. But we're just playing it safe. We're just playing it safe. Rock'em Sock'em Robots is done. And we're up the ladder. Whoops. I did not mean to jump off of that ladder. But I did. And we'll be alright. So this is Eagle again. Yeah, right in his gut. Right in his gut. Hopefully Eagle will give us good RNG this time as well. Nope. Right into the air.
He will dive a minimum of one time. If he dives more than once, he will dive a minimum of six times. And if he dives more than that, I think the maximum is nine, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody who's more well-versed in RNG of Eagle <laughs> will probably know better. But when you get those nine or however many it is, it's often referred to as a Max Dive Eagle. Which is Storm Eagle's birth name, Max Dives. Alright, damage boost there. And I made it, alright. This is Rangda Bangda. It was already a miserable boss, even if you know what you're doing and have all the weapons at your disposal. We don't. We just have our trusty buster. Oh, I missed that. I've just been very used to getting nothing but green eyes, which is the worst RNG you can possibly get, is a green eye. Because it only shoots once, isn't on screen for very long. Blue eyes are great. The green eye shoots once and then goes immediately away. You only get about one, maybe two shots on a green eye. So green eyes add a bunch of time. Never fun. Let's hope I don't pull a fellow speedrunner Vash the Swag Peed. Hopefully I don't pull one of his moves and just fall into the spikes when I'm doing well. Sorry Vash, had to do it. There we go, there's one eye down. Hey boss, why don't you do dash lemons against those? It does more damage. True. But the Baja Blast, as it's called, the not full charge shot, but the one right before it, does just as much damage. <laughs> Poor Vash. F's in chat for Vash, who falls into the spikes on a regular basis. He's also a much better runner than I am. At 100%. So there we go, there's Sigma 2 down, Rang to Bang is out of the way. And now for most uh, Buster only runners, one of the worst stages in the game, in their opinion. I think it's kind of fun. Um, that was interesting. Alright, we get to fight Dillo again. In all other runs, you would uh, manipulate this fight here so that you can uh, skip it, just like Poison did earlier. I don't know why I didn't shoot that, but I didn't. I'm that confident. Alright, Mr. Durst. Chocolate starfish, baby. In the hot dog flavored water. I actually owned that CD as a child. But I didn't have standards in music back then. Ah, there we go. Thought we were gonna keep him in the corner the whole time, but I guess not. Whenever you're ready, Dillo. Okay. There we go. Back up. There we go. Jerk. Okay. I'm not afraid! Okay. Is that a Fred Durst alien in chat? I'm gonna have to sw I'm gonna have to swipe that. I'll put Dillo in the corner. Dillo's the worst. Oh jeez. That was just bad. If you get a full charge, you can just throw it, and the shield that goes behind you will kill the bat, and the rest of the pink shot will kill those two moles. But uh I was too distracted by the Fred Durst alien. Ah, oh, see, there's another pause. Yeah. 
The main reason that Buster Only Runners do not like Sigma 3 is because you get to see all of the really tedious, dangerous bosses again. So like Dillo, who's tedious. Chameleon, who's tedious. You get to see Octo again, who's dangerous. There we go. <laughs> no cheating here. Cheating is not allowed. Cheating is not allowed. And in Buster only, using a weapon other than the Buster is considered cheating. That's why my weapon select buttons are disabled for this run. Mandrill is probably the most fun when he's not being a jerk. There we go, monkey bars. Nice try. I saw that coming. A mile away, buddy. Pew. Just look away. Don't look, Mega Man. Don't look. <laughs> Links there in chat saying that the seed gods are coming for me is a um, Ocarina of Time randomizer runner. And we joke all the time that, um, you know, praise the seed whenever he gets bad RNG or is looking for something specific and gets something else. The seed giveth and the seed taketh away. Alright, speaking of taketh away... Stop throwing fish, man. Just keep jumping and we'll be happy. Oh. I got stuck on my controller there a little bit. It's times like these I wish I had a Hadouken. Mandrill, I, I, Mandrill is pretty fun. I like Mandrill, Buster only. Um, I wouldn't say Penguin, because Penguin's just the same as he is all the time. A jerk. Okay, we're just, we're just gonna do this then. <laughs> Funny story about DDR dance pads. Is that, uh, Back when DDR was really popular, well, I guess it still kind of is. They have uh, like Step Mania and stuff like that now. Um, but when DDR was popular, like in the arcades, um, a friend of mine had it on the PS2 and had the dance pads and everything, like the real nice metal ones. And I, I didn't have any of that. Um, so I asked him if I could borrow the game. I took it home put it in my PlayStation 2, played it with the controller, you know, with the uh, face buttons being my left foot and the icon buttons being my right. And maybe a couple days later, went to his place and played DDR. Beat the crap out of him. He's like, that's just not fair. Like, you don't even have the dance pad. I've been playing this for years. All right, we're going to use this E-Tank. Oh, that's bad. Ugh. It's okay, just one more dash lemon and we got him. There we go. Alright, so that's all the Sigma stages. Buster only. <laughs> Funny you say that. I am not doing one tank. I will end up doing two tanks. Just you play it safe. That's actually what we're doing right now. Going back to Dillo. I guess you could call this a revisit, because it is. I'm just going to go back. And grab this tank. Then we're going to fill it up. 
exit this stage real quick since you cannot exit a stage unless you've beaten it already. And we're going to go ahead and fill these, uh, these tanks up so we have a little reserve health just to be safe. Hopefully we get good RNG with these bats and they want to drop health other than one tiny one, which is not helpful. Oh, come on, guys. Ah. I guess whoever's supposed to feed them hasn't been feeding them. All right, tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to fill in the final stage. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, sorry I'm not talking so much right now. The game volume's a little low, so I'm trying to keep an ear out for when I fill the tank so I don't have to pause. Oh, I got all these extra lives. Wonderful. Oh, goodness. All those blue drops that you see, like that, are all energy drops that replenish your boss powers. Um, <laughs> you know, those powers that we didn't use once during this entire run. Apparently the game thinks that we need to fill up. Oh, I'm already full. Alright, there we go. And away we go. I should get rid of those lives. You know, I really should. I got too many. Wasn't paying attention. All right, here we go. This, not this fight, but this series of fights is the tedious part. A woo! Little Garter, my favorite Maverick. If you shoot him with a second charge, that shot, he will bounce back every time. You can use that to keep some distance between you and the pup who likes to bounce around. There we go. Poor Velgarder. He was only doing what his master told him. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. I should need to focus a little bit for this. Anything that you do with the buster against Sigma here, Jedi Sigma, as he is affectionately referred to, uh, only does one damage. So, Dash Lemon. Full charge, half charge, just one damage. So just shooting a lemon at him is just as good as anything else. Oop. Oh, goodness. I know I said I was just going to be playing it safe, but geez. I guess I didn't listen to my own advice. Come at me, dude. Alright. So that's two of the three tedious fights. And now, the bane of every Buster-only runner. Final Sigma, Wolf Sigma, Wall Sigma, whatever you want to call them. It is tedious. Because the only thing that will damage him is a full charge. It only does one tick of damage. So, if there are any more donations, <laughs> this would be a fantastic time to read them. So I have to hit him 29 more times. Sorry, 28 now. Total of 32 times. And if you stand right here on the edge of this platform, you will not take damage. 
from either the platform spark or from anything that Sigma shoots at you. Only thing you gotta worry about is if that right claw decides it wants to come over, which it does on occasion. So far it's being pretty nice. There it is. It heard me talking about it. And there we go. And you just lather, rinse, repeat. If we get pretty close, I'll, uh, I'll make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah, for the most part, this is the final fight. And even if you had access to all of your abilities, all of your different boss weapons, the Hadouken, everything, the only two things in this game that do damage to him are this fully charged buster and the rolling shield. Everything else does nothing and just plinks off, including the Hadouken. If you manage to get up onto this uh, claw here, and do a quarter circle forward and shoot your buster, it'll just plink off them. Does nothing. Don't really understand why the rolling shield and nothing else would be his weakness as a wall with a wolf. I'm just glad it's not charged fire because that is very difficult to control. See, we'll do the last five shots dangerously. So that's six. Get one more shot the safe way, and then we'll play dangerously. All right, here we go. There we go, playing dangerous. Let's go to the right side. Switch it up a bit. Let's go back to left. And that's time. Alright. Good thing I filled that second tank, because that's I needed that one. And Sigma is defeated. We will never see him again. There will never be a sequel to this game. This game is perfect. No sequels are needed. X1 perfect game. Ah. Amazingly, under that shortened estimate, with the change in my route, which I knew was going to add time, just underestimate. How wonderful. <laughs> but yes, uh, X2 is a fantastic game as well. Um, I have not really played much of X3, but apparently that is also a very fun speedrun and just a fun game casually. Um, X4... <laughs> There's mixed opinions on X4. Um, that's sort of when the X genre sort of changed because X1, X2, and X3, they all look very similar. But then when X4 came out, they kind of broke the mold, went a little bit different direction. Um, and so there's a little bit of a split in the community as to whether or not X4 is good. I like it. Um, it's just not a game I could see myself running. But the people that do run it are very passionate about it. And if that's a game that you like, or if this is a game that you like, or if this is a mode that you are interested in playing, Buster only, um, couldn't find a better community, couldn't find a more welcoming community. As a new member of this community, um, I can personally attest that, uh, you know, I was a little bit nervous coming into it. I'm like, you know, these guys are like world record holders and they've been running for years and I'm just some new guy. And they're just, you know, hey, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask and they truly mean it like the world record holder will sit with you on discord one-on-one -on -one and coach you on how to do things like they're really awesome people um diego who just ran earlier before me um is one of the first people from the community that i followed and i've been following him ever since uh, poison curls is another fantastic resource any of these x runners that have run today are fantastic resources even with handhelds everything so if you have any interest in um even attempting to speed run this game. Don't worry about what you think your time is going to be. Um, I worked for a long time to get my 100% under a sub hour, and less than two months later I was sub 40. Um, great resource of people, great game. Um, if you have any fleeting interest, don't hesitate, join up. Um, we'd love to have you. We love new runners. Um, it's always fun uh, rating you guys and showing support for you guys. 
Um, so that being said, um, I know I only died once, but uh, I'm not going to make a one dollar donation. Are you kidding me? I'm going to I'm going to up that donation. Um, so basically, say that uh, I will match her donation. I'll put another three, and then I'll just maybe multiply that by ten. We'll see. I'm going to give more than a dollar. That it's a dollar is a pittance from me at least, because so I was expecting to die a lot more. But um, yes, that was a fun run. Uh, what is up next, as a matter of fact? That is something I am not familiar with myself currently. I don't have that page up right now. But whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be amazing, like everything else today. Um, we actually have up next, uh, Rich is going to be doing a speed run on Mega Man Battle Network 6. Rhaegar. Battle Network series is a very entertaining. That's something that you're going to want to stick around for. Even as an X fan, yeah. Battle Network is a dope game. Definitely is. Ah. Well, thank oh, you all for. Of which we just we just got a donation. Uh, Hutch uh, just donated ten dollars. He said, "Great X run, Baron von Brian gave a bit more for the death incentive." <laughs> well, thank you very much. I appreciate those uh, donations, and uh, they're going to a great cause. So. Even if you don't like me or you don't like the game, but you like children and you like making them happy, donations are always appreciated. All right. All right. Well, I'll get out of everybody's way. I've wasted enough of your time today. I hope that you uh, enjoyed the run. hope that you enjoyed something that uh, doesn't really get to be seen very often, which is a Buster-only run. Um, if you ever want to swing by my channel, I'd be happy to have you guys there. If you all want to swing by the, um, the Mega Man X Discord, Always happy to see you there as well. And uh, continue the donations. We are not done. We're not done until midnight tonight. Um, doesn't mean you can't donate in the off hours either. So I'll get out of y'all's way. You enjoy some Battle Network. And uh, thank you for having me. And thank you for hosting this event. This has been amazing. This is a great cause. I couldn't be happier to be a part of it.